Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So I don't think this is a really good camera vantage, so I'm going to change the location of the camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. This is a better camera advantage. I was like thinking if I sat down that right underneath the light that would make a difference, but it didn't. <laughs> so anyway, today is Saturday and on Saturdays I like to do a show called Cannabis Upcycled Recycled um, Wearable Art. And uh, basically what I've been working on recently for this show and just in general as far as that topic goes is fabric beads. I've been wanting to incorporate the homemade hand uh, sewn hand embroidered fabric beads that I create onto clothing now um, I think it wasn't last week a few weeks ago I showed you this shirt and I showed you photos of it on Instagram Twitter and Facebook uh, but yeah I had incorporated the goddess figures on this side on the on the front of it these fabric goddess beads that I made um, and I haven't really done anything with it since because I've been working on beads, on fabric beads to adorn it with. So um, after I get my smoke, smoke session in, the beginning <laughs> of this smoke session for this show, I'm going to show you um, some of the beads that I want to add on to there. And also on the back of this, on the back of the shirt, I want to put a design on the back of this shirt. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. I think I might just want to um, embroider uh, a goddess figure on the back. So that's just my plan for it. So let me get out my medicine. We can get a proper smoke session going on. Let's find my... Uh, I may have left my container with my herb in it um, out in the kitchen because I was fixing tea and listening to music. I was listening to Dead Can Dance uh, and I was listening to the Cocktoo Twins again. Um, those kind of bands really helped me to uh, focus and relax and not feel so like stressed out. Yeah, I woke up just feeling angry so I needed to uh, find a way to disperse that anger and get calm and mellow again. So I'll be right back. I gotta go get my um, herbal supplies. Strangely enough, my herbal supplies are right here in my in this little container, this tin. If you ever, oh, I'm trying to get myself adjusted. If you guys ever um, want to find a good place to put your herbs, stash your herb or your joints in here, this is a good place. Like a um, like a little tin, a um, whatever mint tin or whatever. So. Alright, I've got, I still have some leftover of the joint that I rolled, uh, that I rolled with roaches and the strain was, uh, Skywalker OG. If you don't know what roaches are, roaches are basically what they are, is when you smoke a joint down to the nub, you save it, and that's what a, what people call a roach. I like to call them rewraps because I take them, all the ones I have, and then I make it into a joint, so, yeah. Lately I've been using them. Um, more so than not, because I've been trying to conserve on the amount of medicine that I use, trying to use more, trying to use more of the roach weed more than the actual, you know, fresh flower that I have. So, alrighty, guys, cheers. Oh, that's really good. It's very strong. Anybody knows that if you if you roll these kind of joints, <coughs> they're extra potent. It's almost like there's hash in them. So, mm. I've been needing that extra um that extra strength of medicine lately. Let me find my ashtray. <coughs> ashtray here, and uh, I'll show you some of the beads that I'm talking about that I want to incorporate onto this shirt as well as the design that I'm going to put on the back of the shirt um, so yeah these are the beads that I was looking at it was this well this one right here because another goddess shape and it's kind of in the same 
uh, maroon color as the shirt itself. That's the main color of the shirt is maroon. So you just want to add little... I thought maybe... Because I don't know if I have more of this type of fabric. I may have used all of it up. So I may just incorporate it into... Because uh, I try to make things symmetrical when I'm, when I'm creating art. Sometimes, you know, instead of thinking I'm just putting it on the sleeve. But I don't know if I have another one so I can put another one like this on the other sleeve. But I could just make one that's similar to put on the other sleeve. Um, and then I've got this golden golden goddess figure is that I want to embroider and uh, can't figure out where I want to put that exactly on this because if I have because if I have one of these um, like I said with symmetry as far as symmetry goes so um, but yeah that's what I've been working on um, these beads fabric beads um, I also made like another fabric charm not yet a charm yet, but it's a little fabric uh, doll, goddess doll right here. And it's made from recycled fabric, it's hand embroidered, hand sewn. Um, so that's how it looks on the back. <laughs> it's all, you can see all the stitching to put this, this gal together. But I thought about incorporating this gal on there too, um, just for, you know, a little extra goddess power <laughs> onto it. Because, like, look, she looks good right here, I think. Let me show you the shirt. It's hard to just kind of match it up, like, right on the bottom right there. She could even be up on the top, too. Like, I could put, make one goddess like this. Can you see it even? It's so freaking dark in here. I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah. So, yeah, you see where I'm going with this. But that that's what I've been doing is making a lot of beads. And I got some more in here that I made. I tried to experiment with. It's just kind of funny because it turned out kind of weird. Um, I just tried to experiment with making a flower. And it almost looks like a flower except for the fact that this part is a little bit longer. But I used uh, recycled fabrics for this. I think if I were to make this a little bit less like long and shorter and then put a stem on it, then it would be a flower, but how, how many times do you see a brown flower with like blue inside of it? <laughs> I just playing around with stuff like that with adornments, you know. So yeah, fun fun times with a uh, fabric, with recycled fabric. And I think I've shown you some of these beads, that, or all of them maybe before. These fabric beads. Some of these I might want to adorn. I don't know if it's this one, but. This regular, um, so these are fabric beads that I made. They're close. There's a hole in them, a very small hole. If you see that, yeah. But yeah, these are made from a uh, recycled uh, bike jersey. My husband had, um, is a cyclist, and he has a ton of bike jerseys. And over the years, his bike jerseys have worn down, but the fabric was still interesting enough to for me to do something with it. So I decided to use it for making beads. So, he's a little toe. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, just basically making beads. Here's that UFO face I wanted to show you guys in the last video, where I was talking about these fabric beads, but I couldn't find them. But here he is. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've been making a lot of these little beads just for that, just to adorn these uh, dresses that I've been making, uh, that I have, these upcycle dresses and shirts. So, um, here's another one. He's kind of scary, though. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I've been doing, and, um, it's a fun process. It's a relaxing process, and it's something you could do. It could be a coping mechanism, too. You know how some people, they take out their rosary beads and do like that when they're stressed out, or, or stress beads or whatever? Um, with this, it's like you're actually making the beads. So you're really relieving the stress actively by um, by doing something productive instead of being caught up in like a web full of despair. <laughs> you know what I mean? With some people that can happen if you suffer from uh, depression, um, even if it's seasonal depression, you know you can feel that you can feel that wave of uh, despair coming on, and if you could do something that's constructive, that keeps your mind busy. I'm not saying totally forget why you're feeling that way. I'm saying to do something that's active, that'll, uh, 
to help you to get through that time. And cannabis helps when you partake, when I partake of cannabis, I'll just speak for myself. When I partake of cannabis myself, I remind myself to slow down because I've got so much going on in my mind and so many things I want to get done. It's just I can't get it all done. I just can't. There's no way. There's no way in the world. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I think I am finished with this. But this is that uh, fabric beaded necklace that I was trying to show you guys on, I think, yesterday's show. I was going to add more fabric beads on it, but I think there's way plenty of fabric beads on this on this sweet little doll. So, doll, uh, <laughs> fabric, uh, snake goddess doll, fabric bead, beaded necklace. So you can just put it, it's like a one size fits all type of deal. So, um, pretty much, I'd say. So I was going to do a clasp and all that, but I thought I just tied in a knot in the back and there you go. Good to go. Easy, simple. Um, definitely don't want to wear it in the shower, but I took a bunch of photos wearing this, modeling it yesterday. So you could check out my Instagram and my Twitter and my Facebook and I'll ha and also my Tumblr and I'll have photos up on all of those places. Um, and if you're interested in buying this necklace, um, look at all the other photos. You can email me. Um, I'll have my email address at on the description below. But it's all made from from fabric beads, and I've been working on this for uh, for quite a while. You guys know that. Um, I don't know a few weeks now, because each individual bead is hand sewn. Each individual bead, some of them are heavily embroidered. So this is like a labor of love. This doll was made by hand, hand sewing, and then embroidering the snake tattoos on her, and, you know, everything, all the details that you can't really see that good in this video, so check out my, like I said, check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook, and my um, Tumblr, and you'll see a better photo of her and her tattoo <laughs> on the back, too, so, yeah, I'm definitely selling this, so you can contact me through email. And that's how I've been wanting people to do it. If they see artwork on my channel, contact me by email. And um, we'll be able to talk about the price and everything. So, yep. I'll also do a video showing it on my Dark Moon Doll channel so you know. Um, so people over there will know, too, that it's for sale. So, But, yeah, the first person that contacts me is the person that, you know, if you have, you're interested in buying it. There you go. <laughs> That's how it's working. Because I can't, I've still been trying to figure out how to successfully load up um, product onto my Etsy shop through my phone. And that's been a pain in the fucking ass, to tell you. Yeah, this is good. So yeah, I might even incorporate... Uh, because I was posting on Instagram selling these beads, um, you know, in a, in a set. But I'm starting to feel like I just want to... These beads aren't selling like hotcakes. So I just want to sell... I want to uh, add them on to my... Add them on to the clothing that I'm making. These recycled fashion. Not all these shirts and dresses will I keep for myself. So uh, once these are complete, I can sell them. So like... Some of these beads I wouldn't mind putting on to my own clothing or clothing that I sell. Or even making another fabric beaded necklace. I was talking to a friend of mine about that dish. I was telling her I was going to make a bunch of uh, beads, fabric beads, specifically with, with pentagrams on it. Because people like the pentagram because it represents protection. If you don't know much about the pentagram, do your research on it. Really good resources for talking about this type of matter is Raymond Buckland, um, who else? Scott Cunningham, uh, there's other, and uh, Constantinos. So I've talked about a lot of these kind of peoples and these these authors and people that actually practice uh, the craft. So, and they know what uh, these specific symbols are about. These symbols have been used for ages. But yeah, I want to make a whole bunch of them and make another one of these type of necklaces, fabric beaded necklaces with it. Um, but with a, a doll in it too, a little uh, goddess figure. I'll make a god figure too um, soon. 
I think I need to broaden my horizons on that arena because I recently, um, what's really inspiring me is making me think I want to start doing, try to do more male type of um, figures as well. Like when I make my uh, fabric, my fabric uh, dolls, I might just want to put her into like a necklace instead of this keychain. But yeah, um, I, I think I might want to do something because I thought of this idea when I was in meditation. I thought about making a fabric beaded necklace with the god and the goddess in there. So having both of them incorporated, having a balance to it. So, but yeah, um, that's what I've been doing lately is mainly the fabric beads and drawing. And um, I recently showed you guys the, re the most recent drawing that I've been working on. And the drawings kind of fuel everything else that I do artistically. So, yep. I feel like I'm supercharged today, and I think it's because this tea I'm drinking. It has turmeric, black pepper, um, turmeric, black pepper, cayenne pepper, um, cinnamon, uh, what else? <laughs> lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and raw honey. So that's what's going on here. Oh, and black, no, not black, um, green tea. <laughs> Mmm, that's delicious. Delicious. All right, I'm going to take another toke of my joint. And I'll just show you a few more other things. Because I have, man, I have so many ideas when it comes to this fabric. I've really fallen in love with fabric art. And um, so I want to start getting really into it. Um, the recycling of it is such a joy to see, oh, that old shirt. I was able to make this badass necklace out of it, you know what I mean? Excuse me, excuse me, items of clothing that you really love and adore, but they've been ruined, they got attacked by several moths in your closet, <laughs> and then you're like, oh man, what do I do with this, but I still love this shirt. That's what you do, recycle the fabric, um, and that's what I've been doing, and some part of me says I wish I would have, you know, thought of this a long time ago, but Whatever, you find it when you find it. <laughs> so, and that, you know, I want to show you some of the fabric handbags, too, in a bit before I leave out of here. And that's when I'm going to be working on those to um, continue to finish those. And I think it'll be some that you really like. And if there's anything that you see that you like and you go, hey, can I have dibs on that one? You know, you can email me and I'll give my email address in the description below. Um, because I have a ton of handbags and purses that I started on, but I ran out of resources and materials to adorn them, like beads and stuff. Because at one point, I didn't really know how to make my own beads. And then when I started learning how, um, you know, now I'll have more uh, adornment for these bags because I I don't know I used to make really just I mean sometimes I make regular ordinary bags without much adornment on them for everyday usage but uh, a lot of my bags are very very heavily adorned uh, so you'll see that in just a bit so I'm gonna take another toke of this and I'm gonna go get those bags and thanks for joining me today and thanks for being a part of your own life that involves creativity and taking some time out to just you know do something for you and to help heal yourself in this crazy ass fucking world. Somebody's alarm, car alarm, has been going off for like forever right now. I don't know if you can hear that. And now it's off. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go drab. Gra drab. <laughs> I'm going to go grab those handbags and I'll be right back. All right, back. That was one hell of an adventure getting those bags. I don't even know how many I have right here, but I've got quite a few. So I'm going to just show you them. Uh, this one's the recent one that I've been working on that has pentagrams embroidered, embroidered on it. It's made from jean fabric, recycled jean fabric. Basically, I just I drew. Let me show you on the back. This will illustrate how I did it. But on the back of the fabric, I drew pentagrams on here. 
Pentagrams are a sign of protection. So I drew pentagrams on there with a Sharpie pen. Um, after I drew the pentagrams onto the fabric with a Sharpie pen, I then came in and embroidered it. At the time, I had red, gold, and green uh, thread. Now I don't. All I have is black and gray and maybe a little bit of an off-white colored thick thread. I have to buy more thread. That's the thing. <laughs> When you're an artist and you don't have unlimited sources of money, um, you do what you can. <laughs> and I'm just working with what I've got. So uh, with this one, I started embroidering this part on there. With, well, let me move the ashtray out of the way. I started embroidering the black part on there for that. Oh, I also have silver uh, too. So I'll probably incorporate some silver in, there, silver in there as well. But it can be used as a shopping bag, you know, when you go shopping somewhere. Um, people around here seem to like those these kind of bags that I make because I have one bag that I've used for years is made out of jean fabric and I always get asked is, did you make this or whatever so um, yeah they're pretty simple to make they do take time if you're um, hand sewing so let's put you to the side so here's another one I made it's mushroom magic mushroom uh, involved kind of like there you go, see? <laughs> but I made it from a pair of old khaki pants. <clears throat> and um, on the back of it, you got these little heads here, little alien heads there. This one's pretty much finished. I mean, fin except for one of her shoes is missing on her feet. <laughs> little red shoe. I might just make it black because all I've got is black thread left. <laughs> Let me show you her face. So this is a doll purse is what it is. And uh, got a full, a little doll, and then little doll heads on the back of it. All made from recycled fabrics, and the th the actual strap of the bag is made from like a tie dye colored um, shirt that I had that got ripped and torn up, and some blue fabric from is it blue? No, it's a black, like a faded black fabric that I recycled from an old t-shirt. So yeah, that's what this is. It's not lined or anything. It has pockets. There's mushrooms on here that I made from the fabric, recycled fabric. Made my own little mushrooms on here. But yeah, I like this bag. You can carry a lot in these bags that I make. Um, some I make even stronger because I'll line them. So. I might want to line these, but I'm not sure. I can even sell it just like this as is. So if you guys are interested in buying, like I said, any of this, just email me. Here's another bag that I've been working on that I've recently showed you guys. It's another doll purse, um, doll on the other side. It's 420 and cannabis, pro cannabis uh, type of bag. I use recycled um, handbag, I mean for the hand, this purse, <laughs> sorry. I use recycled uh, fabrics, and it's specifically jean fabric and other types of fabric like lace and things like that. But this isn't done yet. Um, it has a zipper on the top of it, and uh, it could be used as a stash bag if you want it. It's kind of padded in the fact that you got these dolls in there, and that'll pad it. If you were to put like a glass pipe in there, that would totally pad it. So. Um, so yeah, this still needs a little bit of more work on it, but but yeah, it's all hand sewn. <laughs> little artsy um, stash bag. And then here's this one. Um, this one got kind of ruined through the move, through the moves I've had, and I've been working on this for quite a while, and I didn't have all the supplies that I needed to repair it. Um, I'm just think thinking that I might repair it just through using fabric beads to help it out but here we go it's like a uh, <laughs> kind of a Alice in, dark Alice in Wonderland theme kind of feels like to me all these beads I have on there are made by me they're polymer clay beads and this figure is made from paper clay this doll is a paper clay doll so what happened was the charm that was on there glued on there came off and um, you can see on other spots right here where was something was glued on there it came off so I'm just going to uh, fix it by using fabric beads to put on there. So I think it would be a good combo to have fabric beads and poly uh, polymer clay beads together. 
kind of a mixture of things. So it's it's a really cool uh, purse. Um, <clears throat> nice size. You can put. It can be almost like a stash bag too. See, and it's made from the base of it is made from jean fabric, recycled jean fabric, and it has a zipper on top of it. And that's something I've been trying to do. Whenever I find a zipper, I try to save it so I could put it onto these bags. But yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do, see, because some of these charms came off with their glued on there. Like I said, I'm going to um, make fabric beads to fix that, to make that look nice. Um, so yeah. And so, okay, we're getting towards the end. <laughs> Before the phone cuts, I mean the video cuts out. But this one was my disdain, it was expressing my disdain towards Valentine's Day. It's pretty much this, you know, has what it says in here. Valent, what is it? I hate Valentine's Day. It is a poor excuse for the Hallmark Corporation to make more money from the many desperate souls. <laughs> yeah, this is funny, but I wanted to embroider it, all the lettering on there. I just, what happened was I ran out of thread. And that's what happens a lot of times when I don't finish a product, I mean a project, is because I ran out of materials. And here's the other side, it has more of a message on it. <laughs> so yeah, it's another handbag. Um, some of it is beaded, but I might take some beading off of it because I ran out of beads. So I was getting too busy with it. <laughs> so this was, it's like the beading on there. You can't really tell what it says, but it says Valentine's Day sucks, and this says Valentine's Day sucks on there too. So um, I'm very expressive with my heart art a lot of the times, and that's where I take my risks. You know, everybody, some people like to, like, jump off of a building. I like to take risks in my art. So this is made from jean fabric as well. And um, I'm definitely going to sell this. I just, I want to embroider the lettering. But if you don't care about the lettering not being embroidered and you like it as is, you can contact me by emailing me. So, so here's another one that I worked on. Um, I think it's really cool. Uh, and for the fact that some of this has rocks. I've, this is like a painted rock that I glued onto there and luckily it stayed on there. These are paper beads for the body. There's like little bodies there and as you can see what it's missing on this one is a hand. <laughs> and so yeah that's the finishing product project that I need to do on this and, um, and it's lined with a fabric that is uh, has skull. I don't know if you can see this, but it has a skull uh, design on it. So it's fa recycled fabric once as well. Once again, it's like a fleece type of fabric texture to it. It's a cute little uh, little purse or bag you can carry. And there's a little pocket in the front if you want to put something in it. This can kind of be like a stash bag because it's really padded. So um, what I want to do is find a zipper to put on this. But if you don't care about there being a zipper on it or not, contact me email me and let me know if you want this because I'm trying to unload a lot of inventory so here's another bag that I have it's more of a handbag than a purse um, but yeah I made this quite a while ago I just never got any extra ideas for it <laughs> but it could be used as a, um, it can be used as a medicine bag it's not um, it's not really padded. I did consider padding it. And this is made, this, this brown part of it is made out of wool. So I'm not quite done with it. It looks kind of sketchy <laughs> right now. The face on there is the face right there. Um, it was a pocket, but it's not really working well as a pocket. So what I'll probably do is have to, uh, you know, sew over it. But on the other side, another really funny, cartoony alien face <laughs> on the back. And I was experimenting with making pockets, and uh, I put it on the on this one like a flap with holes on it, and because I don't have I didn't have any um, zippers or anything like that, so I was doing a lot of flaps, experimenting with doing that, and I figured I could make like like uh, buttons for the eyes on here, and then the buttons for the eyes can be the the kind of enclosure for the flap. So that was my idea on that. And yeah, and it's kind of got that fringe kind of vibe to it on it. It's all fringy. On the bottom of it, I don't know if you can see it, she's got like a beaded necklace. 
kind of a, to me, very abstract, like type of a bag, very artsy. So, so I think this is the last bag because we're at 30 minutes. So, <laughs> but yeah, this one also. Oh, I've got a zipper right here for it, ready to go. Maybe I'll just finish this one off. <clears throat> but this one kind of got ruined through the travels. It's a very fancy one, indeed. Um, it could be used as a um, stash bag, a fancy stash bag, because it's padded. It's lined with a uh, jean fabric, recycled jean fabric. But the thing is, on the front, the, the homemade polymer clay beads that I made, skull beads, I need to sew them on tighter. Through the move, they got kind of loosened up. And, um, yeah, that's what happened to them. And then on the other side, there's like a starfish charm on there. The, it, oh no, it's a starfish pin. So on the other side. But what's really interesting about this purse is that you can see the inside. There's two, like a conjoined skull on the inside of it. I've been enjoying doing that. When I get the sheer fabric, I can do that kind of effect, which is fun. And you can see the skull in the inside of there. So it's definitely a Day of the Dead, uh, Vodou, Yoruba kind of style uh, influence. Kind of Victorian to some degree with the lace, the fanciness of the lace. These beads that I made, these polymer clay beads, I'm so proud of them. They're the ones I made myself. So uh, eventually I'll get back into making polymer clay beads. I just have to have a, a space for it and lots of ventilation because when I make those beads, well, you'll see when you watch one of my videos on how to make polymer clay beads because I have a up on both of these, both the channels I have. It's on the Dark Moon Doll channel, and it's on this channel, too. So, check it out. So, yeah, I might start on this one today and just put the zipper on there, and it's done. So, if you guys have any questions about any of the art you saw on today's show, any of the wearable art, all the stuff I'm making from recycled fabrics, my own homemade beads. So, you can, if I could do it, you can do it. You can be creative and express yourself. Just do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, on that note, thanks for joining me, thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing, and leaving your comments down. Every time you do, I really appreciate it. So, brightest blessings to you all, and stay creative.